got something for you guys. So the Daily Beast uh, has reports out that Rick Santorum is now joining CNN as a uh, contributor. The cable news network announced on Tuesday that the former U.S. senator from Pennsylvania unsuccessfully ran for president, I might add, in 2016, dropping out of the GOP primary before they even got to the fucking really debates. Uh, he had a poor showing at the Iowa cau caucus. Initially, he endorsed Marco Rubio right. for the primary vote. Ran in 2012. You said 2016. No, no, it, no. He ran in 2016 too. He did. Yeah, he ran. Yeah, that's how failed of a fucking campaign it was. Um, so the <laughs> yeah. Horrible. So the network also announced that the former Philadelphia fucking um, congressman is going to be. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Former Philadelphia police commissioner Charles Ramsey will join the network as well. You know something about Rick Santorum. I got. I just got to say, I really can't fucking. I I I didn't know they actually added him to CNN. I really fucking can't stand this guy. I mean, I really fucking can't stand him. I mean, <laughs> this is a guy who once said gay marriage is an issue just like 9-11. He says, the reason Social Security is in big trouble is we don't have enough workers to support the retirees. Well, a third of all the young people in America are not in America today because of abortion. He said uh, President Obama in, um, in America wants everybody in America to go to college. What a snob. Oh, I understand why he wants you to go to college. He wants to remake you in his image. Rick Santorum is by far the most stupidest son of a bitch <laughs> the GOP has ever put out. He really is. And if you're a fan of him, you might be fucking stupid. I'm sorry. You might be, you might be fucking stupid. That, he is a fucking ignorant asshole. I mean, I... Uh, as long as I've covered politics, I've just seen Rick Santorum, and if I ever met him, I... Well, actually, you know, Rick, thank you for taking my advice. You did get out of politics, but I didn't mean for you to join a fucking... <laughs> to be a fucking political analyst for another fucking uh, cable news network, which is funny, because what the hell is wrong with CNN? I mean, they had Corey Lewandowski on there. Yeah. And then he fucking quit to take, you know, a uh, fucking roll at the White House with Trump, and now they fucking oh. bring in Rick Santorum? Because Rick Santorum is somewhat famous. <laughs> no, he's fucking desperate for money. Dude, the other day on CNN, get this, guys. He, he called President Obama the most divisive president ever, ever to run. He says, Donald Trump's going to get things that are done. Actually, I'm sorry, that's not even his fucking voice. It's more like stoveling and like this. He says, oh, Donald Trump's going to get everything done. Watch, Donald Trump's going to be the president that's going to bring law and order back to Washington. Donald Trump's going to be the one that gives us our values. You know what? Shut the fuck up, Rick Santorum. Seriously, shut the fuck up and just get out of politics. Seriously. Yeah. You're, you, don't, you need to read a fucking book for once because you sound fucking <laughs> retarded all the time. God oh, damn. damn. I'm sorry, guys. I no. get fucked up on yeah. this, man. I fucking hate him. He's a... I'm serious. He, he's a joke. He's a fucking joke. And many people don't even know that he gave Sandusky the money to open up his little rape factory there. Oh, uh-oh, did you guys forget about that? I bet he sure tries to forget about it, because he never fucking mentioned it. This is a guy who once went up to a reporter, they said, you know, they asked him about the Constitution, and they said, you know, what happened to Liberty? What happened to this? And he goes, well, if you want that, vote for Ron Paul. He said that to a fucking camera guy. Really? Goes, yeah, he said, well, if you don't like that, then go vote for Ron Paul. He's such a stupid fucking asshole. <laughs> fucking hate that guy, anyway. <laughs> you no, know, I actually thought he was living in seclusion after his last yellow attempt at trying to become our president, because it's been a while since I've actually heard anything come from this man. Oh, God, right. I, I thought he was living as a hermit. I mean, why couldn't he stay as a hermit crab, or just be a hermit of that long, flowing, gray beard? And I could be wrong. This is a guy that also said he wanted to get rid of condoms. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm serious. He's a fucking crazy, evangelical nudge. He's like Michelle Bachman. <laughs> is that, yeah. You guys remember Marty. Michelle Bachman, right? Nutbag? <laughs> She's fucking nuts. She's the one that said that God elected Donald Trump on election night. She brought out a chart that shows, like, the chart when the election turned, and she's like, right there. You see where Donald Trump surpassed Hillary? That was God. She's like, that was God. <laughs> God intervened in this election. Oh, my God. Have you, have you heard those people? Have you heard all the people down south? I mean... I know C.T. Ducky knows as well as I do how they are down south. I mean, we've been down in the south. I mean, we, we did a great deal of traveling down there, and those people are pretty, uh, you know, they're not all bad, but some of them are. Not all there. <laughs> some of them are, yeah. Well, I mean, let me just. everywhere, though. 
Well, yeah, but you know, I never had a person tell me, you know, there's a difference between niggers and negroes. <laughs> I've never had, I've, that, I heard that when I was down south a lot. <laughs> you know, the farthest I had to go was Oklahoma. I'm, I'm just glad I didn't have to go to like, North Carolina or anything like that. Uh, I mean, they're not bad. It's beautiful, yeah. beautiful. It's all beautiful. It's beautiful. And some of them, and most, of the, most of the people are great people. You know, but you just meet some of them there that are just really from the, way in the back, way in the backwoods. Yep, like we're America, we're number one. We can do what we want. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! <laughs> if I listen to one more NASCAR reference. Oh NASCAR. right, uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know the problem, CT Duck, is you need to listen to your heart, just like Dale Earnhardt does. Dale Earnhardt listened to his heart, and that's how he was able to win so many NASCAR championships. Did I tell you guys? Someone actually showed me a picture of their uh, ultrasound, and the kid, like, you can see its hand, and the dad was like, that right there is a three. Dale Earnhardt. Really? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Seriously, somebody showed oh, you wow. the Dale Earnhardt fan. That is, that is great. That's insane.